Okay, in some use cases, you might want to use more than only uh, three loops, but you only have four pads, for example, or for four different MIDI notes um, accessible to send in and to trigger loops. You can easily change the pitch and even have this pitch change uh, switched on and off via your fourth pad, for example. So let us quickly set this up. We're just going to use a pitch device. So um, every note which is coming in is going to be pitched now over for four semitones and I can set this uh, on and off button here as well to MIDI map mode um, and sync it up in MIDI map mode to my fourth pad here. So um, now when this one is turned on the C1 for example will be pitched to an E1 so I can actually quite easy play with this. So let me show you this with uh, two loops I got in here two different road loops. So um, I'm gonna switch off the pitch with my pad and now I'm gonna um, cycle through the different um, pitches here through the different um, road loops. So the first loop is playing now. I'm switching on the pitch device. And now because my C sharp one, which is coming from the pad, which just triggered the loop here, will now trigger the F1 and because this is set to monophonic as well, the first loop will stop. And I can go back, switch off the pitch device and now sending back in the C sharp one. Okay, so let me show you some example here how this could work in practice. Let's set the drum loop down a little bit so we're not getting it so loud. Okay, switching on the pitch now and accessing the second row. 